Arugula is hands down my favorite leafy green. It grows super quickly, the leaves are really nice and spicy, and it's delicious on its own as a simple salad or incorporated into other dishes. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you nine tips to grow arugula from seed all the way to harvest so you can be enjoying it all summer long. And the very first tip is to prep the soil. Now I've experimented with tons of different soil blends to figure out what plants need to grow to their absolute best. And the highest performing blend that I've come across is 75% compost and 25% vermiculite. So if you're filling up a new raised bed, all that you need to do is measure out three parts compost and one part vermiculite, mix that up nice and good, and then fill the raised bed or the container that you're looking to plant into. This will work not only super well for your arugula, but also for many of your other varieties, such as tomatoes, cucumbers, potatoes, peppers, and more. Now, if you already have your soil in place, there's only two things that you need to do. The first is to add one inch of fresh compost to the top of the bed. Simply dump it onto the bed and then just spread it out so that it's nice and even. Then you're going to add one tablespoon of 444 superfood per square foot that you're planting. And the way I encourage you to think about this is as a soil bank account. For the arugula and all your plants to grow, they're going to be making withdrawals of nutrients. Therefore, we need to be making deposits back into the soil bank account so that when we plant them, they have everything that they need to absolutely thrive. So between the compost and the 444 organic fertilizer, we've made a really great deposit into the soil. It's all prepped and ready to go which brings us on to tip number two, which is to direct sow your arugula nice and early. So arugula, it's one of those really great seeds that will germinate nice and early in the season in cool temperatures. So for myself, I start my first arugula seeds right around my last frost. So to figure out when your last frost is, all that you need to do is Google the name of your city and last frost. That's gonna pull back a date and then you can start your arugula seeds really like one to two weeks before that as well as several weeks after it. And the reason why we wanna start our arugula seeds nice and early on in the season is because once the warmer temperatures arrive, the arugula really starts to stress out and it's going to ultimately bolt, go to flower and stop producing leaves. So now that we know when we want to be starting it, tip three is to direct sow nine seeds per square foot. So I've obviously just prepped the soil and now I'm going to use my spacing tile to make nine divots per square foot and have each of those divots be about one centimeter or a half inch deep. And you can grab a spacing tile for yourself at the link in the description. I absolutely love it because it keeps all my beds really nice and tidy, while also ensuring that each plant has the perfect amount of space for it to grow to its fullest potential. Now, in each of the little divots, we're gonna place three arugula seeds. The reason why we do this is because sometimes some of the seeds just won't germinate. So by putting three seeds in, we're going to ensure that at least one germinates and begins to grow. And so now that I've got the seeds in, tip four is to cover them with about one centimeter or a half inch of pure worm castings. And worm castings do an amazing job at retaining moisture. So by covering them with the worm castings, it's gonna stay moist for a longer period of time, making it easier for them to germinate. Alrighty, so the seeds are sown here and that brings us to tip number five, which is to keep them moist for the full germination period. And so I'm gonna give them a nice and big drink of water right now because I just directly sown them. But what's even more important is ensuring that they stay consistently moist for the next seven days. Now, if you have rain in your forecast, that's of course going to help it out, make it a little bit easier. But if you've got a lot of sun in the forecast like right now, then that could mean that you'll need to be watering them once to twice per day. And it will be a little bit of work up front, but that will result in you having a really nice and high germination rate. So definitely make that little investment of time up front. And one last piece that you can do to help keep them moist is you could grab a piece of cardboard and put it over top of them. This is going to block the sun and the wind from hitting the soil, which would dry it up more quickly. So as a result, it's gonna stay moist. You're gonna get a higher germination rate. Once you see the seeds begin to poke through the surface, at that point, you'll of course want to remove the cardboard. So I've got the cardboard down because we got some sun in the forecast here. That's gonna keep them nice and moist. We're gonna get a really nice germination rate because they've got everything that they need to begin germinating. And that actually brings us to tip number six, which is to thin your seedlings. And so to show you how to go about doing that, I actually wanna hop just to the bed right behind me here. And as we can see, several of them have successfully germinated and started to grow. Now, if we were to leave all of them in here, 
they're gonna start competing with one another for water, for nutrients, and most of all, for sun. And what will inevitably happen is that they'll start shading one another out, and the smaller ones, they're gonna very quickly, ultimately just get even less sunlight, fall even further behind. So really, by thinning them out, you're not missing out on anything. Believe me on this, or just do it as a little experiment on your own. So to thin them out, all that you need to do is simply go to your seedlings and find one of the biggest ones. Then, simply remove the other ones by either pinching them and pulling them out, or you could use your pruning shears as well to remove them. For myself, I prefer to just pinch and pull them out. So I'm gonna go through each divot and thin it down until I have only one arugula seedling left in each one of the divots. I know you probably feel like a murderer taking all these out, but again, believe me, nine per square foot, you're gonna be A-OK. -okay because take a look at these ones that I started even a little bit earlier. So it might not look like it, but these are planted at nine per square foot as well, right? We can see plant one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So anything else that'd be planted in here would absolutely get shaded out. Now, I also do need to do some harvesting and cleaning up on these plants here. And that's exactly what's gonna happen with these over the course of the next two to three weeks. So they've got everything that they need to now begin growing. And in two to three weeks time, you're gonna be able to start harvesting them, which brings us to tip number seven, which is to pinch to harvest. So over here, I've got another set of arugula that I started even a little bit earlier, and it is now ready to harvest. So once you start having your first leaves that are at least a couple of inches in length, you can go ahead and start harvesting by simply following the leaves to the main stem and then pinching them right before you get to the main stem. Any leaves that are a little bit smaller, leave them on the plant and those will be ready to be harvested over the course of the next week to two weeks. And as I harvest these small and large leaves, I want to take a minute to introduce you to my online gardening mentorship, Grounded. I know it can be a little bit daunting and overwhelming to start gardening, which is exactly why I created Grounded. As a mentee, I'll be working directly with you to help you become a confident and competent gardener. You'll participate in live lessons, have access to live support from me, and be part of a like-minded community. So if that's of interest to you, then check out the link in the description of this video to book a one-on-one -on -one enrollment call with me. Look at that. Now that is a nice early season harvest. Now, you're probably wondering, what on earth is this thing coming out of the top of my arugula plant? And the one downside to arugula is that once the temperatures get hot, it's going to go to flower, which is what you're seeing, and then ultimately stop producing leaves for you to be harvesting. However, there is a way that you can slow that down. And that brings us to tip number eight, which is to remove the flowers. So all that you need to do is anytime that you see the flowers beginning to emerge on the plant, simply grab your pruning shears and chop the main stem off back where you see leaves. Once you do this, the plant's going to begin producing more leaves for the next little bit, and then it's going to go to flower once again. At that point in time, simply repeat the process of chopping off the flowers, and it's going to extend the harvest period on your plant. And that brings us to tip number nine, and that is to plant a succession crop of arugula. And what you've seen is that just at the back of this greenhouse here, I've got a crop that I started about four weeks ago. And then those teeny tiny ones that we thinned out today, that round was started about two weeks ago. And of course, lastly, I also started that round just today. By planting a smaller space multiple times in succession, you're gonna be able to be enjoying arugula for a much longer period in the gardening season. So just before you take off two last pieces, if you wanna get your hands on any of the amendments or tools that I utilized in this video, you can grab them at the links down in the description. I 100% swear by them, 100% guarantee you're gonna love them as well. And then the second and final piece is that if you're interested in joining joining Grounded, just comment Grounded on this post and I'll reach directly out to you to find a time for us to connect. That's all for today here, folks. Utilize those nine tips and I know you're going to get absolutely beautiful harvests of arugula. Catch you on the next video. Until then, go get your hands dirty.